Praise God, my sisters and brothers. I wish you all the name of Allah Christ Jesus, the Son of Living God. I'm back with the Word of God. So we're going to talk about the schedule. Why I came with the schedule? I know somebody can say, Why in the old way you came with the schedule? So I have to tell you this, my sisters and brothers. The schedule in life is very important. Before um, I came here in America, I used to do things, but I could plan ahead, you know, just to plan, but not to write them down. Or get a schedule, uh, the calendar, and then you write them down. So, but when I came here in America, the way I uh, see when I started to visit some friends, talk to some friends, all the people, you see how they do their things, you know. If you just came here in America, you do your, you still do your things the way you do it the way you uh you were raised up but when you come to america you see other people doing different things you know you start to ad admire and then you say what is this you know you want copy you want do the same thing they do so i have to tell you this my sisters and brothers i learned how to make a schedule people make schedules in this world people make schedules People who have big companies, they make schedules. Hospitals, they make schedules. Even even though when you go to work, you're going to find they post everything everywhere. It is very, very, very important in life to make a schedule. So I have to tell you this, my, uh, my sisters and brothers. Though it is very important in life to make a schedule, we have to work on the schedule while Lord Christ Jesus you do all that and then you give it to God. Because the schedule he has is not the same schedule we have. You do your own schedule. You tell him, Lord, this is what I have, this and this and this and this. Then after that, you give it, uh, you let his will be done. And then be in your own, in you, in your schedule. Then you can do, <laughs> then you can see, you can plan ahead. Because let me tell you this, in life, once we do the things, you wake up every day, you know you have to pray, you know you have um, to do each and everything you do and then you go to work. Those who go to work, all oh, those moms who stay in the house and then they stay in the house doing things, this and that. So let me tell you this, my sisters and brothers, it is good. All oh, that is good. But it has to be in God's plan, God's will, everything we do. Because we are not led by our own. We are led by God. And Christ is always number one first. Christ is real. He's there. He loves us. So what he told us in his word. That you should thank him for the day you are living in. Because you don't know what is there for tomorrow. That's why it's good. You do your own. You do your schedule. Then you give it to him. Some people, those who doesn't know him, those who know him, ask him, pray about it. Then you write everything down. Tomorrow I'm going to do this, this week or this month. Some, you can ask to me, when I talk to my daughter, she has a plan for, or they say my husband a plan for next year. She has, but we do not know for tomorrow, you know. Only God knows. So that's why those who are not Christians, uh, they do the schedule, you do it, but you get, still you can say, I give it to God to help me to lead me. But if you are Christian, you know, read about God, pray about it, pray in it, ask God, what do you want me to do? Where do you want me to work? For me, I've been uh, all the time, I call where I work to, um, and then I ask them, which things do you have and they told me no we have this and this and i couldn't go there i could just leave why because and i uh, i did not ask god about it that i was about to do it but i knew still he would not let me go there there are some things which you can ask when you know god is going to say no yet it is the truth so i have to tell you this my sisters and brothers we have to ooh, we have to involve God in each and everything we do in life, not just to not just to be there. We have to ask him, we have to allow him, we have to let him 
do honor his will in us because it's the Lord in each and everything he do how we do in life so uh I love you God bless you I'm sorry something happened to me here so I've been scratching or scratching so I'll see you next time God bless you see you bye